story that comes from native storytellers that goes way beyond truth to make room for hope. And I will remind you before I do that when I told stories to very small children, I would say to them, I've shared this story with you, and now your job is to share the story with somebody else. Once there was a small mouse who dreamed of faraway lands. He didn't know anybody who'd ever been to the faraway lands. He didn't even know anyone who had been to the river. But he had heard stories of the plains, and stories of the mountains, and stories of the faraway lands, and that was enough. He decided he was going to get to the faraway lands. And his friends, who knew Deborah's friends, told him that that was a bad idea and <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. And he didn't care. He just set off. And he went farther than any mouse he'd known had gone until he came to the banks of a river. And he couldn't swim. And there wasn't a bridge, and he didn't know what he would do. So he just stopped, and he thought really hard. But he really wanted to go to the faraway lands. And while he was stopped and thinking, he heard a voice. It was the voice of Magic Frog. And when Magic Frog heard that he wanted to go to the faraway land, she said, I have some magic. I can help. I give you a new name. I call you Jumping Mouse. And she said that, the mouse felt his back legs get bigger and stronger, and he gave this big jump, and he jumped clear over the river to the other side. And as he was landing, he heard the frog call after him, as long as you keep hope alive in your heart, you will reach the faraway lands. And so he did. He kept hope alive in his heart as he crossed the plains that seemed so unbelievably vast. One day in front of him, he saw what he thought was like a boulder in the middle of the field. But when he got close, he realized it was a buffalo, and the buffalo was crying. This tiny little mouse went up to this buffalo and said, what's wrong? And the buffalo said, I was drinking from a stream and it was poisoned, and now I'm blind. And without my sight, I might as well be dead. So I'm just lying here waiting to die. And the mouse said, well, I have a little magic. I'm going to give you a new name. I call you Eyes of a Mouse. As he said that, the buffalo got to his feet. His head started to move. He couldn't believe he could see again. But the mouse couldn't see what he was doing, for he had given the buffalo his own sight. And when the buffalo realized what had happened, what gift he had been given, he said, how can I possibly repay this? And the mouse said, well, I'm going to the faraway lands, and as long as I have hope alive in my heart, I will get there, but maybe you could help. And the buffalo said, well, I am a creature of the plains. I will take you to the edge of the mountains. And so he did. He made sure that the little mouse stayed safe all the way to the foot of the mountains. And then the buffalo said, I can go no further. What will you do? And the mouse said, well, I don't know. But as long as I have hope alive in my heart, I will reach the faraway lands. And the next morning, he started to make his way very carefully bit slowly into the mountains. And later that day he stopped because he smelled a wolf. And he stopped very still the way a mouse will when it's frightened. But nothing happened. So after a while he made his way closer to the smell and he could hear that the wolf was crying. And he asked the wolf what was wrong and the wolf said that he had lost his sense of smell and without it, he could not hunt, and he would surely die. And the mouse said, I can help. I'm going to give you a new name. I call you 
nose of a mouse.